What's going on guys? Welcome to week four of the Ramble series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. It's actually a lot of fun for us. We just kind of get to sit down and chat with you guys. It's a little bit more personal and just kind of one-on-one. -on -one, so hopefully you guys are enjoying it, but we have a lot to talk about this time. So I'm going to try and uh, make sure I get everything in here. Hopefully it's uh, useful for you guys. But basically, uh, first things first, we've got a couple new releases coming out in June. Uh, the first one is the J Spellbook. I'm not going to talk too much about that. That's already kind of been talked about a little bit, so we're not going to touch on it. Uh, but we do have Battle Bond as well as Commander Anthrology. I'm going to talk about Battle Bond a little bit first just because we did have a few spoilers, uh, which is really exciting. Um, if you don't know what Battle Bond is already, basically it's a format focused around two-headed giants. So it's going to be basically four people playing on two-man teams. Uh, versus each other and it should actually be really really fun if you haven't ever played two-headed giant you are missing out uh, I love two-headed giant. It's so much fun uh, You really get to to work with somebody else and build some really cool decks and then hopefully uh, take down a, a an opposing team uh, I I just really enjoy it. I like the team aspect of it. Hopefully um, it's something that if you haven't tried you will especially with this new set um, so we did see a few lands spoiled uh, they're dual lands. They are not enemy dual lands. I guess they're uh, cooperative. I don't know. Regular dual lands. Uh, but basically, um, the they come into play tapped unless you have two or more uh, opponents. And so basically, in a two-headed giant format, you've got two people on the opposing side of the t uh, side of the table. And so that counts as two opponents, which means they're basically just dual lands minus the uh, basic land type. Uh, they do not have that. They are just regular lands. So. Um, Really interesting. I like that they're kind of really playing up that that sort of uh, mechanic as like, hey, let's build around this multiplayer format idea. I think that's awesome. These obviously will see play um, in Commander and things like that as well. Anything multiplayer, these will be fantastic because uh, they will just be dual lands. So um, outside of that, they're not going to see any play, I don't think. There's really no point, but um, still very, very cool. Hopefully we'll get some more spoilers pretty soon for that and we can talk about that on this video. Uh, or on the next uh, couple videos, but really excited about Battle Bond. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, if you have any concerns or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below, and that way in the future I can actually address them directly uh, as we get more information about Battle Bond. That is coming in June. Commander Anthrology is also coming in June, and I am pretty excited about it. So they just, as of a few days ago, uh, released the four decks that will be in it. Uh, and I'll just very quickly go through. There's Devour of Power, which is piloted by uh, Mimeoplasm. I believe I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Built from Scratch, which is the Red Doretti deck, Scrap Savant. Uh, Wade into Battle, which is Calmny, uh, Disciple of Veras. I don't know. Uh, but it's the Boros deck. And then Breed Lethality, which is the one that I could not be happier about. It is Atraxa. Uh, if you don't know, if you don't play Commander, you may not know how good Atraxa is. She's amazing. Uh, absolutely fantastic. She's every color but red. Uh, she plays so, so well into multiple strategies. She has just so many keywords and things like that that really, really make her a useful tool for a lot of different decks. Um, I know very commonly a lot of commander decks see uh, with Atraxa are either counter based, like Infect or something along those lines, or uh, Planeswalker decks, so Super Friends decks, because she does have Proliferate. Uh, which is just insane. Um, <laughs> if you don't know what that does, it basically adds another counter of any type to any card on the field. Uh, and so infect counters, that counts. Uh, they will just kind of take one life damage, basically. Uh, so it's it's really, really sweet. Atraxa is just an insane commander. Uh, very, very good in competitive commander, but can also just have some really fun casual builds. So um and also another point to make too is that her deck is like ridiculously expensive. Uh, so hopefully, you know, this isn't going to make a huge dent just because of how good she is. And uh, I imagine that the print run for this is going to be a little bit lower, obviously a limited print run. So um, my guess is that this isn't going to tank the price too much, but hopefully it'll get it in the hands of some people who didn't have it before. Uh, I am included in that. Unfortunately, I did not buy Atraxa. I bought every other deck, but I could not find Atraxa because she was too good. And flew off the shelves. So um, hopefully you guys can pick up the Anthrology Volume 2. Uh, it's going to be really, really good. Again, may, if nothing else, just for Atraxa, it's going to be awesome. That as well is coming in June. Uh, so you'll be able to get that up very, very soon. 
another thing to talk about with that, though, very quickly, is legendary card frames uh, that we're seeing in Dominaria are added to these cards. Uh, so any of the legends in this set, they will have the actual new legendary card frame, which I think is really exciting. I really like that card frame. Um, I honestly could kind of take it or leave it, but it does look really good, so I'm not opposed to it by any means. Uh, I think it's really fantastic. So it's cool. It's also unique, uh, and that adds to some some collector's value. So I think it'll be great to have that. Um, it's it's definitely just a cool little touch that I think it's good that you know they're putting that in. So not a huge deal, but definitely pretty cool. Um, last couple things have to do specifically with the channel. So if you're interested in that, uh, hopefully this this is for you. Uh, so. Uh, on Tuesday, uh, two days ago, we had a versus video go up. That is a very first versus video for us, and basically it was uh, Modern Death Shadow versus Eldrazi Drawn. Uh, and Will and I really planned this out and took some time. We also had some help from some outside people, uh, just getting some B-roll footage and things like that. That we were able to put this little 10-minute video together. It's just a single game of Death Shadow versus Eldrazi Drawn, but it's overproduced in comparison to the other stuff that we've done. And um, already, I'm recording this the day after it's gone up, and already it's gotten uh, a lot more views than some of our other stuff just off the bat, uh, which is fantastic. That means you guys are enjoying it, and it's worth it for us to keep making those. Uh, I do want to point out there's a lot of work that is involved with making those. Uh, they're a lot more produced. Like I said, there's a, I think we had something like four or five hours in total of footage, and it boiled down to less than 10 minutes. Um, and it's only two of us working on this. So you have to imagine, you know, full-time jobs, all that kind of a stuff. It's a lot of work on our end. So, um, it's not something we're going to be able to do all the time once a week or anything like that, but we do want to make those a little bit more often because first of all, it's fun for us. Uh, I think it, it gives us a much higher quality, uh, product, which hopefully you guys enjoy. And I think so far it's been very positive. So I think we're going to try and move forward with doing some more of that stuff. Uh, we also um, do have plans, I know you've probably heard us talk about this before, of doing some ideas with uh, Burst of Knowledge, our partner channel, with this same theme in mind. Uh, so these are some, some things to think about. Hopefully you guys can enjoy those. Uh, and um, if you do have any suggestions, by all means, let us know. We're always open to them. Uh, again, this is, this is a channel that we enjoy making and we enjoy putting content on, but it's really for you guys. Um, our goal is to, as we've said since the start over a year ago, um, build up the community and hopefully give some interesting uh, information out there for both new and older players, you know, people who've been playing for a long time and so, um, and keep it entertaining. And that's really the goal. And so I think this adds that entertainment value while still being a little bit more informative and a little bit more in depth because you're getting post commentary stuff as we're going through the game. Uh, so hopefully it's something you enjoy. Please let us know if you did. If you didn't, let us know and let us know why. Uh, so that way we can hopefully better uh, make these videos in the future. So uh, that's it for that, though. I do want to make sure that you guys watch that. It's really, really good. So go ahead and check it out. Um, the last thing is very, very quick. We had our Dominaria giveaway. Uh, we do giveaways, by the way, once a month usually. Uh, sort of the beginning and the end of every month. We, we tie in a little giveaway. This one was 10 packs of Dominaria. Uh, just 10 packs for free. All you had to do was sub to the channel uh, and then comment on any video with hashtag Dominaria giveaway. We like to sort of switch back and forth between Instagram and YouTube giveaways. Uh, if you want to go ahead and prepare for future giveaways, you can always just go ahead and subscribe or uh, follow us on Instagram or both um, because, I mean, it's one step you don't have to do later and hopefully it's something that you guys enjoy and you can, um, you know, feel good subscribing to our stuff. Uh, but I did want to mention our winner, Isaac McDowell. Congratulations to you. Uh, we do have the cards on your way, so if you're watching this, hopefully you'll get them very soon. Um, I do want to point out we had over 80 people enter this giveaway, which is insane for us. I think that's blown. That's our YouTube. As far as our YouTube giveaways have gone, uh, I believe that's our biggest. So cannot thank you guys enough. Uh, the support you guys have shown is ab absolutely astronomical. Um, just to kind of keep things in perspective for you guys, at the start of the year, we were right around 200 subscribers, maybe a little more than that, 215, something along those lines. Our goal by the end of the year of natural subscribers was 300. Uh, if you don't know, we just hit 300 thanks to this giveaway. We had over 70 people subscribe to the channel just for this giveaway, and the comments that you guys left 
um, so many of you left just like absolutely positive comments saying how great the you know the content looked, how much you enjoyed it, um, and none of that was required for the giveaway. All you guys had to do was sub and say hashtag Dominaria giveaway, and some of you did that, and that is great. Uh, we do appreciate the support, but we we really appreciate the people who went you know one step further and just gave us a nice comment. Um, not that I think you should you know be dishonest in your comments. Uh, if you find something you don't like, please let us know. Uh, we'd absolutely love to know. But for those of you who did leave those positive comments, I just want to say thank you so much. We really do appreciate any and all support from you guys. Um, we have other ways to support us. I don't like to harp on them, so I'm just going to very quickly say there is a donation link down there. Do not feel obligated, but if you would like to, uh, you can donate via PayPal as a one-time payment. Uh, it can be any amount, nothing no pressure, nothing like that. If you're not in a position where you feel like you can donate, please don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to continue to do this stuff no matter what. We also do have a Patreon, uh, and so you're welcome to, to go over there and, and donate that way. That directly supports us, so it just kind of helps things run smoother. Uh, it keeps us our giveaways, hopefully a, a giveaway that's something you guys actually want. Like, um, so many people that I see give away, you know, very small things and that's fine. That's great. Some people just can't afford to give away tons of stuff and by no means can we afford tons of stuff, but, uh, we like to give away a little bit more if we can. And so, um, you know, the original decision was to do like five or six packs of Dominaria. Let's go up to 10, you know, let's, let's go that one step further for you guys. And hopefully you guys will return the favor. And so far that has, uh, been true. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little weekly ramble video. This is weekly ramble number four. We're going to keep this going. A lot of people enjoy it, so we're going to do our best to keep it up. Uh, but with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much again for everything, the support, uh, as well as entering in that giveaway and just following us and doing what you can to, to keep stuff on with us. So we really appreciate it. But until the next video, I'm out. I will see you later.